you were uh, right in Marco Rubio's uh, face right there. That was, uh, that was really, were you scared or you just have so much anger from what happened that it just kind of went through you? Well, I was angry yeah. because for the first time I was confronting what happened to us and looking it in the eye. And we appreciate that Senator Rubio showed up because not everybody did. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that Senator Rubio has started the baby steps to fixing this because those are steps and that's progress and that's proof that we're doing something here. But we have a lot more and we appreciate that this is becoming more of a conversation and less of a debate and everybody's in on this. So, okay, so this happened a week and a day it ago. Is. Last Wednesday. Right, so, so before this happened, were you concerned about uh, any kind of gun control or, I mean, even though the, the Las Vegas thing happened and other school shootings, did you pay attention to it much? Absolutely. You Ms. did. Seamus, one of the, um, she's the uh, uh, AP human geography teacher in uh, the freshman building, actually, and she um, always had um, conversations about current events. And um, I, I would like to think that we're all pretty aware of what's going on around us, even if, even though we haven't done like political campaigns or right. you know, lobbies like this before. You have to forgive yourself. And I wish that I had been able to be part of this before I had to feel it at home. And I almost feel guilty that it took me, my community taking 17 bullets, and it took us feeling that anguish for us to get involved. But we're here now, and we just have to keep on going and realize that we're here to fight the good fight. You're a junior in high school. Right? Yes, I'm a junior. Um, yeah. So, so you're, just to be clear, uh, do, do your families own guns? No. Mine does. No. Okay. So and and so, are you saying just stricter gun laws, or you're you're not saying no guns? We're right? not right. saying right. no guns. Okay. We are saying we want to regulate semi-automatic weapons and the um, uh, accessories that make them fully automatic, because mm -hmm. fully automatic weapons are banned. Right. But the accessories that make semi-automatic ones aren't. So we want to stop those. Right. From getting into the hands of the public. Because I think that's where some of these conspiracy theories uh, kind of started, saying that y'all are actors, you weren't even uh, at that school. Um, how, how do you respond to the fact that pe First of all, it's just insulting. Uh, you went through a, a, a traumatic ex experience, and, and they're not you know, respecting you enough that they would call you actors. Well, I've, I've been acting since kindergarten. In Ms. Blakely's production of The Rainbow People, I was the narrator. And since then, I've been lucky enough to be in Little Shop of Horrors, Fiddler on the Roof. And if you've seen those, you'd know I am not somebody that deserves any money for acting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so let, let's talk about the March on Washington. Why? And, and you know, obviously, like we've said, there, there's been, you know, starting with Sandy Hook, which I, you know, there's, there's been so many uh, devastating events like this. What's going to... What's the difference now? Well, basically, everybody's listening to us. The difference is, you, you've seen this. We're here. We're talking to you right now. This has never happened before. Those kids in previous shootings, like Sandy Hook, they were so young, and many of them did not make it out to tell their tale. And we are thankful enough to have been in a, in a school that educated us almost perfectly to handle this situation. 